Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all are doing fine and you have read by the title what today's video is going to be about. So finally, I'm doing the TMI tag. So for those who don't know, TMI is too much information. So I will be revealing some of my personal information right in this video. I was planning to do this video for a while now, but it kept on getting delayed. So finally, I'm here uh, with the TMI tag. So yeah, if you want to know a bit more about me and my life, uh, then keep on watching this video till the very end. But if you are new to this channel, Hi, my name is Sona Mishra. I post beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel. So please take out a moment and subscribe to my channel down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, without any further blabbering, let's just dive right into this video. So I came across this TMI tag uh, recently on the internet and uh, I have some about 50 questions right here on my phone and I will be answering them one by one and I will be completely honest with my answers. Uh, so yeah, let's begin with the first question. So the first question is, what are you wearing? So I'm wearing this salmon pink high neck. I really like this high neck. Now I don't remember where I bought it from. I either got it from Lifestyle or I got it from Octave. Uh, I don't remember and I'm wearing these denim joggers uh, that I got from West Side. And for accessories, I'm wearing these uh, white pearl studs. I got them from Shopper Stock. So yeah, this is all about my outfit of the day. Next, how old are you? So I just turned 22 in February this year and I vlogged my birthday. So you can check out the vlog in the I and in the description box below. What is your zodiac sign? So I'm an Aries. Now, if you come across anything regarding the zodiac sign Aries, any trait, any characteristic, that is exactly me. And it is really funny, but yeah, that is me. How tall are you? I am five feet and almost about an inch, not an inch exactly. Uh, I am really, really short. How much do you weigh? So currently I am 58. So I have been on a weight loss journey and I've lost around 6-7 kgs in uh, two months. So currently I'm at 58 kgs. Uh, any tattoos? Uh, yes, I got two new tattoos uh, recently on my birthday. And uh, that vlog is also up on my channel. So you can check it out in the I and in the description as well. Any piercings? Yes, I have my ears pierced and also I have a nose piercing favorite show okay, so I like a lot of shows but if I have to pick a favorite then I would say in Hindi I really really like Bebaki that series is so close to my heart I have watched it for over three four times and I absolutely love that series and uh, if talking about an English show then I really really like the Vampire Diaries and the originals favorite band so I'm not a lot into bands I don't know names of a lot of bands so I can't answer this what is the best compliment you have ever received so uh, I usually get a lot of compliments uh, on my eyes and my smile but uh, if I have to pick a favorite I would pick uh, some of the compliments that I receive uh, regarding my videos that you guys like my makeup and, and that my uh, video qualities and the editing skills have been improving a lot lately so those are some of the compliments that I really really like uh, do you hate anyone right now because at this point I feel hate is a very very strong emotion a very strong feeling and I feel if I don't like someone I won't give uh, that person uh, this much importance to hate him or her so uh, no, I don't hate anyone. I do dislike uh, some people, but I don't bother about it now. OTP. Okay, okay. OTP. Uh, so I had to look it up on the internet because uh, I was not sure what OTP is. The only OTP I know is one time password. So the OTP apparently means one true pairing. That means one fictional couple or a one fictional love story. Uh, that you like the most. So for me, it has to be hands down Klaus and Caroline. Uh, now again, they are from uh, TVD, uh, The Vampire Diaries. And I absolutely love, love, love their pairing. Uh, like uh, the purity of love that Klaus has for Caroline. Oh my God, I just love it. Next, uh, something you miss. Uh, something I miss. Uh, I think... Uh, I'll say I miss my older self. 
at this point yeah i don't miss anything apart from that i just 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 miss how i used to be uh, nothing apart from that uh, favorite song i can't choose a favorite song i i absolutely love a lot of songs it just depends on my mood uh, i just can't choose a favorite quality you look for in a partner mm. if given a chance i have a long long list for this but if i'll have to pick the top 5 let's say then it has to be loyalty an absolute must then i would say understanding maturity uh, the person has to be career focused because that is again a must and then yeah attention or time i i want someone's uh, absolute and undivided attention i am just a sucker for attention uh, i am an attention seeker for that matter but if i am with a person i need your full attention you have to focus on me all time every time favorite quote okay so there is one quote that i absolutely love and that is this too shall pass i read it somewhere uh, that someone asked uh, god or someone uh, to for a quote that in good times would not make him over happy and in bad times won't make him a lot sad so the other one replied this too shall pass and that really really stayed with me so yeah that's my favorite quote favorite actor i don't okay i don't like any particular actor i like characters so i don't have a favorite actor favorite color again i don't have any favorite color i love every color i like wearing every color i like trying every different color i don't have a favorite loud music or soft music soft music any time i don't lo- like loud music that much unless i am at a party obviously where do you go when you're sad so if like instantly i need a mood lift i'll go down for a walk with my music on but if like uh, in general if i have been uh, sad for a long while and i need that peace of mind uh, then i prefer going to gurdwara uh, here in delhi bangla sahib that is my sukoon ghar i just visit that place and i get uh, my sanity and my peace back so yeah that's my favorite place how long does it take you to shower it depends sometimes uh, i just uh, take a shower quickly in 10 minutes uh, and if it is a weekend and i am in a mood of that self pampering session then it would take me about 2 hours so it depends how long does it take you to get ready in the morning so nowadays i don't get ready in the morning only because i don't have to go anywhere so again it depends uh, it can be a quick uh, get ready in 10 minutes or else i'll t- if i have to get ready for a special occasion it might take uh, up to an hour and a half because i'll have to do my hair my makeup my outfit i'll have to choose so it can take about an hour and a half ever been in a physical fight uh, with my brother yes but apart from that no never i haven't been in a physical fight ever so a turn on i think uh if i'm meeting someone for the first time a good grammar and a good accent uh, would be a big turn on for me now uh, uh, a turn off uh, boasting about yourself and lying those two things i just can't tolerate liars so that would be a turn off uh, for me the reason i joined youtube now uh i have been wanting uh, to have my own channel since 2017 now i made a youtube channel back in 2017 and my mom was my only subscriber for 2 3 years and i didn't post any video uh, as such because i was in college uh, and also because i believe at that time i was not financially independent and somewhere in the back of my mind i had this thing that once i get financially independent that will be uh, when i would start my youtube channel it's like a pet project it like it's like a baby to me like i I just wanted to give it my all. I believe uh, back in the lockdown phase, जब चल रहा था तो there was a phase when I was very very low and uh, there was no motivation, nothing to look forward in life. And uh, that time I decided that maybe I just should start YouTube because uh, I wanted to and uh, I thought uh, this would be something that would keep me occupied. So. I just started and I think it was a very very good decision. I absolutely enjoy the process and uh, I love my channel. I love you all guys. Uh, my biggest fear. I think my biggest fear would be to not achieve something that I aim at in life 
and the second thing that i fear a lot is like i have a lot of plans in life now i fear that if and when i achieve all those things that i aim at in life whatever after everything i'm not happy so that is a thought that just keeps me occupied a lot of time during the day that what if everything that i'm doing i am able to uh, be successful in whatever i'm doing and i'm still not happy what then so i i just fear that thought a lot lot Next. Uh, last thing that made you cry okay i am a cry baby and i cry every day for some random reason or the other uh, if nothing i'll cry while listening a song last time i cried probably yeah yesterday only i was editing my birthday vlog and uh, just seeing how happy i was uh, on my birthday i started crying so like mere rone ka koi system nahi hai last time you said uh, you love someone mm. Yeah, in my last video only, in my birthday vlog only, uh, I said love you, love you to my friends. So yeah, that meaning behind your YouTube name. Uh, my YouTube name is my name only. That is Sony Mishra. Now Sony has two meanings. A uh, one it means gold, and second it means beautiful. The last book you read. So the last book that I finished was uh, by Durjoy Datta. Uh, the book name is One Touch of Eternity, and it is one of my favorites now. the love story was amazing i love that book the book you are currently reading so currently i'm reading the book the power of now that book is really really good so i'm not a lot into uh, like spiritually awakening books uh, but lately i have been uh, reading such books ki thoda sa akal aaye peace of mind mile तो आई थिंक दिस बुक इज़ रियली रियली नाइस बिकॉज स्टार्टिंग में मुझे लगा था दैट आई दीज बुक्स आर नॉट मेड फॉर मी बट एवरी मॉर्निंग आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू रीडिंग दैट बुक सो दैट बुक हैज़ रियली कॉट माई अटेंशन सो आई एम रियली रियली लाइक इन इट इज करंट शो यू आर वॉचिंग आई एम वॉचिंग द ओरिजिनल्स आई एम अबाउट टू फिनिश इट आई मीन आई एम एट द लास्ट सीजन बट आई एम नॉट गेटिंग टाइम ओनली टू वॉच इट सो आई डोंट नो वेन आई एम गुन फिनिश इट last person you talk to in person my mom or my, and my brother uh, just recently and on call or text would be uh, my office colleagues i just had a meeting the relationship between uh, you and the person you last texted uh, again my uh, office colleague favorite food okay i am a foodie i am a cook i am a baker so i love everything uh, not everything but if i love something i love it uh, all through and if i don't i don't so i can't choose a favorite place you want to visit now i have a long long list of places kyunki kahi zyada ghuma huma hai nahi abhi tak to bahut lambi list hai but the place that would top that list would be kashmir i have to visit kashmir very very soon last place you were so i have been at home for a very very long time now but uh, last place was probably himachal i went to himachal for my new years uh, so yeah himachal uh, dharamshala we went so yeah that was the last place that uh, are you currently dating someone uh, no i am not i am happily single do you have a crush on someone no i don't have a crush on anyone at the moment do you stalk someone i am a big time stalker i stalk like crazy sometimes i uh, myself feel what the hell am i doing like i stalk at that level and uh, i came across a meme that said i stalk at this level that i can add it as a skill in my cv so that is me so yeah you can get an idea <laughs> yeah a uh, favorite flavor is sweet i don't like sweets that much i am more of a savory kind of person uh, so i don't have a favorite flavor but if i have to choose i would say uh, no i can't choose i don't have a favorite sweet flavor agar mujhe kuch pasand aa jata hai to main kha leti hu nahi pasand aata to nahi khati i don't have a favorite what instrument do you play i don't play any instrument i don't own any instrument i don't have the time to but if ever i get a time in life to learn to play an instrument guitar would be number one i would love to learn playing a guitar that is again a bucket list thing favorite piece of jewelry hands down bangles i love bangles my love for bangles is i just can't explain it in words i love bangles so much and second would be earrings uske alawa to main waise bhi kuch nahi pehenti hu but bangles so i just love i absolutely love bangles last sport you played uh, i don't play sports that much but ha agar indoor sports count karenge to abhi main thodi der pehle ludo khel ke aayi hu to ludo 
last song you sang last song i sang so i am a pathetic singer but abhi thode de pehle i was humming this song by jugraj sandhu uh, mera sardar so that song has been in my mind lately and i absolutely love the song so yeah that was the last song that i was humming a while back Mm, favorite chat up line okay i think uh, the habit of chatting uh, has been vanished from my life to chatting ka to habit hi nahi rahi hai to i don't think i have any favorite chat up line or uh, have you ever used it now i don't have a favorite chat up line so how could i have used it so yeah last time you hung out with anyone so it was again back uh, on my birthday i hung out with my family and my school friends so yeah it was an amazing day I... uh, what is the biggest fear you have overcome i have been an extrovert for my entire life and i was that one kid jo bahut sare logo ke around rehte thi uh, so i was always surrounded with a lot of people in my life and i think i got very very habitual to it always uh, back then always i had this fear in my mind that what if i lose these people some day how would i live alone like if at a point in my life i am very very lonely then i don't think i would be able to manage it so this was the thought process back then and that was my biggest fear like losing my people and being lonely alone in life was a biggest fear that i think i have overcome in my life now i don't fear losing people anymore i just don't now it may sound a bit rude but i just don't i just feel that uh, one who wants to stay would stay no matter what and one who wants to leave would leave no matter what so i don't think there is any point fearing it yeah it does affect me as i say it doesn't affect me a lot it does but I just don't give it that much importance in my life now. So yeah, that were all the fifty questions. Yeah, I hope the video was fun for you to watch, and I hope you uh, got a better idea of me as a person. Uh, and if you have any other questions that you would want me to answer, any questions for the, that matter, uh, drop them in the comment box below. I will definitely, definitely answer them. So yeah, I really enjoyed uh, doing this video. I, I got time to sit and chat. It felt like I was having a one-to-one -one conversation with someone, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you liked it too. Let me know in the comment box below how you like this video. So with this, I will end today's video here itself. Please like this video, comment on the video, share this video with your friends and family, engage with the videos, so that it helps me grow my channel. It will help me keep myself motivated and going on, so that I can put out a good content on my channel and you guys can enjoy it. So it has to be a two-way process, right? So please engage with the video, like it, comment it, share it. and all those good stuff now i will see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye